Occupational therapists work with people of all ages, right from birth through to death. Um, working in many areas, sort of mental health, physical health. Within that, what we do is we kind of look at the things that people want to do, need to do, or are expected to do within their life. So what the occupational therapists do is look to overcome those barriers, and that can be putting in a piece of equipment um, to compensate for something that they can't do. It could be looking at um, adapting the activity, doing it in a different way that's more manageable for that person. So for me, I had been working in a, a doctor's surgery for years, As a, started off as an office junior and then as a medical secretary. Obviously stuck in an office kind of nine to five, Monday to Friday, it just wasn't suiting me anymore. I knew I wanted to go and work with people. It is difficult, but it's worth it, it's definitely worth it, because once you get into that career and you're doing a job that you love, it's really rewarded. So many different areas that you can work in, like I mentioned earlier, sort of physical health, mental health, different age ranges. Um, so I feel like in some ways there could be something for everyone within occupational therapy, it's just finding your little area that suits you. I went to university actually at the age of 21, so I failed my A-levels twice and then I did an access course, um, managed to get to university eventually to do occupational therapy and then life happened and um, some confidence issues and I, I ended up not finishing the course at that time. I did various jobs for years, um, working in offices and spec savers and things like that and I, I really missed it and I thought I really want to try and get back into occupational therapy. Um, so I found a job as an assistant. So for 10 years I worked as an occupational therapy assistant on a stroke ward. There's so many different areas you could work in. So you could work in a hospital, you could work in a school, a prison. There's, there's also the legal side. Um, in the community, mental health, physical health. So maybe just try and, try and think about what you might be interested in, maybe spend some time shadowing some occupational therapists doing their job. I think it's, it's very rewarding, you know, as an occupational therapist and within the wider team, coming together to, to help one person um, to achieve their goals um, and to live safely and happily. A typical day in the life of an occupational therapist, well for me, I work within an early intervention um, team which is um, first for people that are experiencing their first episode of psychosis. So for me we work in a sort of team which is a multidisciplinary team, so I'm one of a number of professionals and so we meet every morning um, and we have a discussion about um, cases that we need to be involved with that day because um, maybe there are people that are in crisis or maybe in hospital that we need to be engaging with. Um, we all have an individual caseload so we'd be discussing anybody that we need to talk to about. Once that meeting's finished we would then I would then go on to take time out to then go speak to my individual clients that I see on a daily basis. So um, some service users I might see face to face or maybe make meetings and reviews or plan treatments with or carry out treatments um, throughout the day. So we look at the person, the environment and what they're doing and make a decision about how we can help problem solve from illness where they can move on and recover safely well and, and reach their full potential. Occupational therapy really lends itself to so many areas of life um, and so many areas of healthcare and beyond. Um, I myself went on to run my own business in health and social care, which was nothing to do with the NHS or, or necessarily healthcare setting. It was a private business and I was able to do that as an occupational therapist. It is a I guess a door, an opening to many opportunities and I think if you explore it a little bit further you might discover there's something that you can do within occupational therapy, so give it a chance.